After what feels like a year of messing around with Steam controller settings, trying to get the controller to be as accurate and as responsive as possible for first person shooters, I think I've finally got something that works pretty well, or at least works a lot better than a Xbox 360 controller with its analog stick. And uh, not quite as good as a mouse, but uh, pretty close to, to a mouse, especially if you weren't a, a sort of eSports pro player. Um, I think this will be pretty good for most people and it's quite interesting what you can do with the Steam controller. So first of all, let's go into CSGO. Um, if you want to use or try this profile out, just go into the launch options of the game, click manage game and then go to configure controller and then press the blue button where you'll get the community and personal setups. And you'll see there should be one called Gamer Muscle Pro CSGO Setup, which will allow you to uh, then grab uh, what I'm using uh, for this video and uh, hopefully it works for you as good as it's been working for me. So let's load into CSGO and uh, get things going. Now I'm just going to have to switch um, OBS from Windows Capture to Game Capture otherwise it's going to run uh, about the same speed as a potato rolling down a small slope. So let's just uh, turn Windows Capture off, launch the game back up, there we go. So almost there. There we go. So when in the game menus, uh, it's just got this standard uh, right pad, which operates a lot like a, a touchpad, but then it's sort of emulating a, a, uh, a ball mouse, which is really strange, but works quite well for menus. So we'll just go into, what I'll do is I'll start off by just going into a death match uh, without any bots, just to go through how it's set up. So we're not dying repeatedly whilst I'm trying to talk through it. Uh, turn the bots off. And then we'll go into a public deathmatch game and see how it holds up against real people. Now, what I didn't realise with the Steam controller when I first got it, and I haven't really seen this being that aggressively advertised, and a lot of people reviewing the Steam controller haven't particularly mentioned it, is that it has a really good gyroscopic sensing in it. So it's like what you've got with your, your accelerometer in a mobile phone. When you tilt your controller and move it around, uh, it picks up that movement and it seems to be pretty well mapped one-to-one uh, -one with the real world, very similar to if you ever used the original Oculus Rift. And what I've done with the first-person shooters is set it up so that when you hold it, uh, the right touchpad, it then activates the gyro and you can use the gyro to aim. So if I move it above my head, you see this is pretty fairly one-to-one. -one. It's slightly accelerated in the game. You can fiddle with the, uh, with the sensitivity of this to get it to how you like. This seems to be just, just about right for me. And you can also hear the Steam controller do this haptic click while you do this. And strangely, if you rotate and let go, it, it goes back to uh, simulating the, the ball mouse effect only from the gyro. So, <laughs> slight slow down, a bit of a flick. But what this allows you to do is you can have the normal touchpad action when you're using it like a touchpad with your thumb like this in the ball mouse mode to do quick rotations and look around and navigate the level precisely. Um, and look at different aspects you want to get to, move around corners, make sure your cursor's pointing in the right place. But when you want to be accurate, you can just hold your finger on it and then go to gyro mode. So let's just uh, say I want to shoot some, uh, I don't know, let's pick a target, let's shoot that van window, I pop around here, jump up here, and there's the van window, and you can sort of aim on it fairly accurately, or just the front lights, or the wheels. So it's pretty accurate. Now it is... It's harder than uh, using a mouse, as I say, and not as immediate, and flicking left and right is nowhere near as easy as when using a mouse, uh, especially flicking left and right and having it so that the cursor is at the right head height, and also uh, sort of aiming as you walk around a corner is a little bit tricky, though it is possible, and it's a lot easier. Say you're coming around this corner here, you... it's possible you get a bit dis misaligned with it, uh, but it's a lot easier using this accelerometer-based uh, motion tracking to do that than it is using the touchpad to swipe around a corner. It's almost impossible to swipe around a corner unless you start putting the sensitivity on ridiculously low, uh, at which point if you have to actually turn around quickly, then you can't and you just get shot in the back repeatedly. So what I'm going to do is go back to the menu and you can also use the gyro mode to control the mouse. It's quite precise for controlling menus. It's very much like when those uh, Logitech mice actually uh, Logitech mice, one of those um, LG TV remotes. They seem to work in a similar way. I think it's a really good way of doing a pointing uh, device uh, on a computer if you've not got a mouse uh, or it's something that's wireless and you're, you're holding in the air. Let's go to find a game. 
and we're going to do a death match. Okay, bearing in mind other people are going to be playing with the mouse and keyboard, this should be very interesting indeed. Now, one thing I have noticed when using the gyro mode is you really need to be pointing at the screen uh, that has the game on it. Otherwise, if you're to the side, my screen is just over there, when you use the gyro mode, things will just start feeling really dislocated because it doesn't line up to where you're pointing. If you're pointing at the screen, though, uh, it actually has the effect of feeling somewhat as if you are um, holding a, a gun almost, that you're pointing like a real gun. Of course, you're not pointing it like a real gun. But it... Oh, he has a rifle. Three hits on him, not bad. Uh, it just has that feel that you're more sort of aiming something rather than using a mouse, which is obviously completely abstract to the activity of, of using a gun. But let's do this and uh, see how well it holds up. Uh, I'm expecting to get absolutely destroyed. Now, part of this, uh, as I say, it isn't as good as a mouse, but part of the difficulty from this comes from, I still think I could optimise the sensitivity a bit, and also, I'm getting used to using a D-pad to move, which clearly, uh, or obviously isn't as good as sort of using, uh, oh, I hit him, but it didn't kill him, using uh, Cherry Reds on a, on a mechanical keyboard. Uh, that can be tweaked, like everything with a Steam controller. And also, I'm not used to using the squeeze button to jump and crouch. So my general movement is, is a lot off. So you'll have to forgive some aspects of it and, and attribute that to, uh, to inexperience with using the controller. Um, as it is now, though, after two or three hours of play, I have to say, it's more than good enough for single player. And I was playing uh, Grand Theft Auto last night with this. And it didn't feel too bad. And I think with, with games that have... Um, oh! <laughs> games that are done pressing crouch for no reason. Now I'm checking my gun. The special ops uh, protocol is to check your gun after you kill someone. Just to make sure it's a good gun. Oh! Oh! <laughs> so I was playing GTA V last night. And uh, with games like that where they're sort of confused between a vehicle and a shooter game. Oh, I nearly got him. Uh... This Steam controller seems really ideal for that. Uh, obviously, a mouse and keyboard is better for, for a pure first-person shooter. And obviously, a, a traditional gamepad is better for a pure arcade game. But for a game, as I say, like GTA, where you're, you're going from vehicle to, um, to car to shooting, from vehicle to car... Ah! Oh, I got him! You go, yeah, when you're going from shooting to your car... When I'm playing GTA on a, on a PC, normally what I'll use is a, I'll have a gamepad and I'll switch between mouse and gamepad and it's really irritating. But when playing with the Steam controller, uh, I was just... Uh, I was just uh, using the Steam controller and it just felt really nice. And and it I felt a lot better than when I played with just the gamepad and using the auto aim. Because it actually feels, as I say, like you are aiming something. So really have to give the Steam Controller credit for things like that. Look at that little flick there. Clearly these players oh, aren't the best players in the world. <laughs> You're taking ages to haunt me. But it shows that I'm getting kills in multiplayer. This isn't single player. Against people that are using a keyboard and mouse. Sure that, you know, Deathmatch isn't exactly reflective of standard CS gameplay. People spawning all over the place. Often people aren't, aren't particularly the best in Deathmatch. But, you know, if the control was absolute garbage, for example, trying this with uh, with, a, with an Xbox controller, I doubt I'd hit anyone. And, uh, oh. <laughs> and uh, playing this even with a, with a Novent Falcon, for example, is far less accurate than, than the Steam controller using this gyro mode. And I just find it amazing that people who've started to review the Steam controllers haven't really talked about this gyro mode at all, despite it actually being, the, in my opinion, the best... Or, or the most accurate way to aim, whilst allowing you to do flick turns and actually navigate. And if this was a single player game, uh, just a standard single player first person shooter, I'd be quite happy to sit on a couch and play it with this. Uh, I'm, I'm really happy with playing with keyboard and mouse, and that's how I've always played games for years. So, <laughs> it's, it's not a chore to me to sit at a desk using a computer. Um, but, for people that want to sit on a sofa, maybe you know, maybe you want some romantic gaming with your girlfriend, you want to play some Team Fortress, uh, you've got two TVs as you do in your sitting room, you're playing Team Fortress with your girlfriend, it could work alright. And, and actually saying that, my, my, my partner doesn't uh, play first person shooters at, at all really, she plays Team Fortress occasionally, 
Um, and, but she finds mass aiming really hard because it's not something uh, she's done. I've been a lot of us gamers have been using a mouse and keyboard for 15 years, uh, and so we've used it as the mouse and keyboard has evolved from a ball mouse to optical mouse to laser mouse to, from from rubbish keyboards to to now having uh, fairly decent gaming keyboards, uh, and the games also evolving with that process and supporting things see, uh, gradually so we've had a chance to get to grips with it if you're someone that's never played a first person shooter with a with a mouse and keyboard it can be quite intimidating but using this gyro aim i think just about anyone can get that immediately uh far easier than i think they might even get using a, a mouse and keyboard and certainly far easier than they would uh, get using a using a gamepad Though uh, the the just using the oh we're jumping by accident and missing just using the touchpad alone on the Steam controller though I have to say isn't intuitive and is harder than using a a a mouse by a mile and although probably slightly better than a gamepad is certainly a lot less intuitive than a gamepad it's just the combination of using this to twitch look and then the gyro mode that I think makes it more intuitive if that makes sense. <laughs> probably contradicted myself three times over but uh as you can see from this uh we're doing oh i don't want to pause that I look at the scoreboard 14 kills 12 deaths in death match not terrible could be better with a bit of practice i think we could do a lot better uh I'll, what i'll do is I'll, <laughs> I'll join a competitive match uh at lem rank or pigeon with a reef i like to call it rank and we'll see how we all don't probably get absolutely destroyed in that uh but we'll give that a test but it has to be said uh Gyro with the Steam Controller, really interesting. Not as good as a mouse, but pretty damn good for what it is. Let me get this guy. <laughs> Didn't even look at me. So, uh, make sure you, uh, if you want to try this out, download the Gamer Muscle, Gamer Muscle Profile. It's, as I said at the start of the video, it uh, should be in the controller options in the Steam Big Picture mode. You should be able to grab it and you'll be able to see exactly what I'm using. Uh, also, if you like the uh, the YouTube channel, make sure you click the subscribe button, like it, and uh, check out our Steam Controller videos, our simulator videos, and our virtual reality videos. Thanks for watching, and uh, I'll see you. Goodbye.